The video you're about to watch is a parody of a well-known gamer on YouTube. This person directly lifted jokes, monologue, and ideas from someone without ever publicly citing, thanking, or even acknowledging his existence. The person he stole from, and is currently turning a profit on, is the reason I ever came to YouTube. His videos were the first I ever watched on this site. To this day, the angry video game nerd has received no public recognition by YouTube LLC for his videos, despite being instrumental in the site's original success. The site continues to support and monetarily reimburse a no-talent knockoff. Alright, with all that said, this video is dedicated to you, James Rolfe, and I hope you laugh your ass off so I can finally return the favor. You've seen Big Chris. Uh, I have what doctors call a little bit of a weight problem. You've seen Obnoxious Chris. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? You've seen Unfunny Chris. You go, girl! I'm the weather, 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 daddy, yo! But nothing can prepare you for the DVD of the year when just one man, one Chris, manages to be everything we dislike about these Chrises and so much more. Break out your pocketbooks and wallets as the monumental egotism and lack of gaming knowledge overpowers you when Chris Four. That's right. Over an hour of monotone, poorly acted, unintelligent plagiarism comes straight at you as the upset gamer stumbles and fumbles his way through over nine video game reviews on three awesome DVDs. Ugh, this game is so frustrating. This game right here was the perfect predecessor to the first Mario game. When I heard this game was coming out, I was ecstatic. This game is one of the most hardest and frustrating games I've ever played. Chris Force! Coco Crispinese. It's the new language to sweep across the nation by storm. But where did it come from? How did it start? And why do I sound like such a douchebag? I mean, seriously, what is the deal with this whole Coco Crispinese thing? Chris Wars. And here to help me with this week's review of Parasite Eve is my own personal friend, Parasite Steve. Oh, oh, am I on? Am I on? Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, thank you so much for having me on your show, Mr. Boards. You see, James Roth wouldn't return my calls because apparently he thinks I'm a really stupid character that adds nothing to a video and I shouldn't really be in it to begin with because because I have nothing to do with the game that's being reviewed, but apparently you decided to put me in there anyway, so I just wanted to say thanks. Chris Boards, everyone! Well, The Upset Gamer was born one night, uh, I was surfing online and I found this site called ScrewAttack.com and uh, there's this guy on there called The Angry Video Game Nerd. And I watched some of his videos and I wrote down everything that was in them and I said, uh, how can I make this uh, shittier and less funny? And then I kind of went back and uh, erased a few words and changed them up and made the jokes drag out a little bit longer, kind of changed the punchlines up a little bit, you know? I kind of think of myself as that lovable guy everyone had in their high school who would um, sort of uh, look off of their tests when they were taking them, you know, so that he could make sure he had the right answers, that kind of thing. That's really the kind of person that I am. We're seriously bored! We're outside for this week's review. Not because it makes my review any more relevant, but because I can distract you with more sprites this way. Don't they add a whole lot to my review? It's almost like you don't even notice how bad my writing and acting is. Chris pours us to tears! Look at this. They didn't even bother to put the numbers on here the right way. I mean, it's not called For Resident Evil, it's called Resident Evil 4. Talk about a shitload of shit. But, I mean, really, this game is so chock full of boring moments. And you're just going to be bored to tears when you're playing it, that instead of calling it Resident Evil 4, they should have called it Resident Evil... Stupid. Grr, I'm so edgy. Legacy of Kane. More like Legacy of Pain. In the ass. This game sucks. Let's do this. Chris Boars, the crap 
power of us. And this code is considered infamous among gamers who say it's... <laughs> Dang it. And this code is considered this infamous. And this code is considered as that. And this code is considered mince. And this code is considered infamous. And this code is considered inf Dang it, I can't get this. And this code is considered infamous by all gamers. Oh no, not all gamers, some gamers. <laughs> I said all gamers instead of some gamers. That's going on the outtakes. <laughs> now what brilliant game designer put a clock there? I mean, he must be laughing his butt off, like, like I'm just gonna have some kind of disturbing death wish to go all, all the way over there just so I can get a piece of pizza. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, no, that, that's not, that's not right. I mean, seriously, what could honestly make this even more stupid? To order the Chris Boards DVD set, get a self-addressed stump envelope and mail 20 unmarked dollars to this address. My own rectum, care of my butt cheeks, between my legs I don't get parody, I'm a moron.